Good morning, wonderful people, great dear friends, wherever you are. This very day, the seventh day of May, in the year of our Most High Elohim, Chukwoke Kabi Amapurumi Hene 2021. The time now is six minutes past the top of the hour, regardless of where you are. In the blessed land of Biafra, it is six minutes past seven in the morning and the same number of minutes, regardless of where you are domiciled. I welcome each and every one of you to this, our very special Q&A session, question and answer session, that we may be able to clear some of the cobwebs, that we may be able to bring you up to date and up to speed, to allow the world to hear your voice, to allow humanity to appreciate the depth of the difficulties that people are encountering in the damnable zoological republic, but above all, to make sure that we are united, all one people, in pursuit of this very noble dream of Biafran sovereignty in our time. My name is Mazen Namdekano. I am the leader of IPOB all over the world. I am the director of Radio Biafran Biafra Television. And by the very special grace of the Most High Elohim, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra, I therefore say to all of you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you, because I know right across the surface of this very planet Earth, people are listening to us this very morning, not minding the impromptu announcement of this very program. The whole world is listening, and this very gospel must be preached. As I welcome you, please bring other people along with you. You must share the links. As always, we are simulcasting on multiple platforms. We are on FM in Biafra land, on FM in parts of Lagos. We are on FM in also parts of the damnable Janjaweed, damnable zoological republic. If you are able to listen to us via FM, all well and good. We are also on satellite. Radio Biafra transmission is aired on satellite. We are on Biafra television. Darlington reminded me we are also on Biafra television, which is also on Facebook and also on YouTube. We are on University of Radio Biafra on YouTube. Precisely, that is our official anchor, University of Radio Biafra on YouTube. We are there. We are on IPOB Community Radio. We are on Instagram. We are on Twitter. We are everywhere. If you wish to listen to us, I believe that we are also on TuneIn. We are on Garden Radio. We are on Simple Radio. We are on Sweet Radio. However, means or way you choose to listen to us, you should be able to do so. The whole world is listening. Everywhere you go to right now, people are listening, not just on social media, but via other means as well. I welcome each and every one of you this very morning. Before we proceed to open our lines, I have a few things to say, but before that even, we have to pray and pray very, very briefly that Elohim may come to take charge as always, that Chukukikabi Amapurumi Henine, the God Almighty in heaven, whom we serve, adore and praise may be able to come down, or should I say, give his angels instruction to stand guard over us, sons of men. Is anyone in a chine can not keep from me here in a chico kika be a mabini way? On your bonania, come on a modern up be sell and ye. On your demos in a fair. On your papando. Nanya won on one, na we see a lanye. Only a coof if an assopro. Only a bulimini, a gantino, nulia, nanke bread and gossima room, baby. Obe jama canyon, a jago to talk canyon, a dog in sopro canyon, a soproge. Only a bonani and a chill. Nearly necker a bunker. More than a mother bonani gicker a hano yigan and ke bread and gossi. She necker nezebube. Only may leave where only all banani abo yambo. No need but a mazo. Only ne prondi who were ne pro hazo. Only all banani a baby no body queen subu zoo gada. The way not an air no conobotin getter. 
ezenden so omo ko si we ha nyina no kama obu ka ni we nye go tona so pro na ijama ni ihi na mboni na ni mendo anya na nke bro bu na na ka nyini rubarisi we na bisi ala nya nya na ge farosi anya na ge farosi atrapi anya na ge fa no pa ho madu na nke bro bu na na ka nyina bisi ala nya anya na se ga na lo tuto so pro ijama si tene bi bi maru ne bi bi ga na do gi se he say, he say, I prayed in the language of heaven, the oldest language known to man. Before we open our lines this very morning, I am going to ask you to please do bear with me. I have a few things to say, a few announcements to make, so to speak, and then we shall proceed. But first of all, there was something that I tweeted yesterday, which I'm sure that most of you must have become accustomed to. Something I said very many years ago. I said it in the year 2015 when I was addressing the World War Congress in Los Angeles in California in the United States of America. I made it very known to them. In fact, this very morning I'm asking Sumto and all the rest of them. I'm going to ask you, all of you, go and find that very clip of my address to World War Congress in 2015 and simply cut out the area where I said in no uncertain terms, very categorically in my assertion, that the Fulani Janjaweed are coming. I said it in that very program, I said it very clearly, that they are coming is only a matter of time. Go and look for that clip and cut it out and make sure it goes viral, make sure it is everywhere because everything happening in the zoo today, I prophesied about it very, very many years ago. I wanted to go and cut it out because there was a headline that was published yesterday, Abuja schools shut down, a truck load of bandits arrive in Bada Town. Schools are shutting down in Abuja. As we told them, everything that happened to Biafra during the war must happen to all of them in the zoo. Today, schools are shutting down the same way they shut down our schools during the war. These are the things that people must understand that begin to come to terms with, that anything we say, anything we proclaim, anything that we give, live to on this very platform by proclaiming it must come to pass i want you to go and find it very very minutely very very urgently where i said in 2015 during my address to world war congress in los angeles i made it very very clear to them if you don't give us guns and bullets they will come and when they will come it will be too late for all of us and now they have arrived as confirmed by this leadership newspaper headline, Abuja schools shut down a truckload of bandits arrived in Border Town. As I warned all of you that they would come very many years ago. There is no prophet, there is no soothsayer, there is no predictor, there is nobody who can match the accuracy of our prediction. Nobody anywhere in the world. Because Elohim is with us. We are whiter than white and whiter than snow. That is why all these revelations can come to us before other mortals can say it. We have seen it and we announced it, I told you in 2015, that the Janjaweed will come. I warned you they're going to come. I told you that the Fulanis will come. They will take over your government. They will enthrone a type of nepotism and retrogressive governance that the likes the world has never seen before. And now it is happening before our eyes. It's happening before you. I warned you, if you do not give me guns and bullets in 2015, that the Janjaweed will come. And they have come. They have gone to Abia State. They have gone to Abia State University in Uturu. They have kidnapped some students. And I want to make it very clear this morning that those that kidnap the students are not full any terrorists, not the bandits that we are all accustomed to. They were kidnapped by full any soldiers and full any police people. Near Law, but that is where they are. That is where they are keeping these people inside Law and military barracks. They, they, it is, I blame all Jews or Carlo. People must announce this very clearly this morning. The kidnap of these students, I am laying it squarely on the doorstep of all Jews or Carlo. All Jews or Carlo, that is fully, all Jews or Carlo, that friend, and should I say boyfriend to, to Fulani men, that all Jews or Carlo is the person responsible for what is happening. He is the one that gave land to full any terrorists in law firm. he is the one that made sure they are they established a military barracks to guard terrorists who are in law firm. they are the ones that kidnapped our people and i'm making it very clear now to esn all over biafra land that we are going to comb all the forests surrounding abia state university we are going to comb it and because i am insisting i know our intel is telling us that those they kidnapped yesterday they are holding them in military barracks near Loba. That is where they are. That Fulani terrorist camp 
along the expressway after Munochi. If you're heading to Enugu, that is where they are. That is where they are holding them. That is where all the males will have their penises cut off to be sent to China as a delicacy. Maybe one ton soup with, with penis in it. That is where they are holding our women that they're going to marry off to Boko Haram terrorists and ISIS in West Africa. That is where those students are being kept. People that kidnapped them, I don't want Nigerian newspapers, all those zoological republic journalists to be writing junk. I am telling you categorically this morning, it was not the Fulani terrorists that carried out this attack because there are no Fulani terrorists in Jaffa land. We have neutralized them. There is no, no longer Mieti terrorizing people. Those who are doing this now are Fulani people in army and police uniforms. And that is why we must stop them. That is why we must recognize, starting from this morning, that the army and the police are our enemies. The Fulani people in Nigerian army, the Fulani people in Nigerian police, they are the ones abducting killing our people and we must confront them. That is why everything that Hopu Zodima is doing that Sadikin Fulani in Imo State must be checkmated. That is why anywhere we see them we must confront them. If you do not confront them, you give them time to go kidnapping students as they have done yesterday with Apsu students. We must be very very vigilant. We must be very very careful. The time has come for us to exert our independence in the zoo. The time has come for us to say to our enemies we cannot be cowed the time has come for us to let the Fulani Caliphate, the Janjaweed Caliphate understand that Biafalan cannot be taken over. Those doing the kidnappings, those doing the armed robberies now that we have in our land are Fulani people in Nigerian army. Fulani people in Nigerian army. And that is why it did not come to me as a surprise nor a shock when I heard that students were arrested, they were kidnapped. Never as a shock to me. That is the consequence of very poor, weak leadership. Those that you call your governors, this is what they have brought to our land. Instead of them to rise up to support Eastern Security Network, they went about trying to float all this mushroom, ineffective, toothless, whatever vigilante that they have around them. To allow the Fulanese to come in to kidnap. These are Fulani people in the Nigerian army and the Nigerian police. These are not your typical... Fulani Janjaweed from Mali or from Niger Republic. It is the work of the Nigerian army. Their barracks is very close to Lopa. They are the ones providing them cover. That is the terrorist headquarters you have in our land. The settlement, the Fulani settlement in Lopa is the place that Ojo Zokalu gave to his Fulani boyfriends to go and house their terrorists in our land. I am holding Ojo Zokalu responsible for what is that if any of them should die Ojo Zokalu will bear the consequences of it and I'm directing the entire command structure of Eastern Security Network to ensure that no vehicle will leave our land through Enugu Iwacha Expressway that they are not going to go anywhere. I am asking them this morning to go into the bushes and into the forest surrounding Abia State University in Uturu to make sure that those people are rescued. It is a direct order, it is a command to the entire Eastern Security Network architecture on the ground in Biafra land to make sure that these students are found and found immediately. And we are going to go into law to go and search the place that is where they're holding them. They are holding them in the military barracks inside law. If they do anything to them, we are also going to excavate the land. We are going to use detection equipment equipment anywhere the soil is disturbed we know that they have buried them in there we are going to mount a very rigorous consistent and round the clock vigilance around law that is where these things are happening from and our people must understand this those involved now in kidnapping those involved now in extortion those involved in armed robbery are full army people in army uniforms they are full army people in police uniforms that is why we must not allow the police to leave their body anymore sorry to leave there of course is their brother good morning wonderful people great dear friends wherever you are this very day the seventh day of may in the year of our most high elohim 2021 the time now is six minutes past the top of the hour, regardless of where you are. In the blessed land of Biafra, it is six minutes past seven in the morning and the same number of minutes, regardless of where you are domiciled. I welcome each and every one of you to this hour, 
very special q and a session question and answer session that we may be able to clear some of the cobwebs that we may be able to bring you up to date and up to speed to allow the world to hear your voice to allow humanity to appreciate the depth of the difficulties that people are encountering in the damnable zoological republic but above all to make sure that we are united all one people in pursuit of this very noble dream of Biafran sovereignty in our time. My name is Mazen Namdekano. I am the leader of IPOB all over the world. I am the director of radio Biafran Biafra Television. And by the very special grace of the Most High Elohim, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra, I therefore say to all of you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you, because I know right across the surface of this very planet Earth, people are listening to us this very morning, not minding the impromptu announcement of this very program. The whole world is listening, and this very gospel must be preached. As I welcome you, please bring other people along with you. You must share the links. As always, we are simulcasting on multiple platforms. We are on FM in Biafra land, on FM in parts of Lagos. We are on FM in also parts of the damnable Janjaweed, damnable zoological republic. If you are able to listen to us via FM, all well and good. We are also on satellite. Radio Biafra transmission is aired on satellite. We are on Biafra television. Darlington reminded me we are also on Biafra television, which is also on Facebook and also on YouTube. We are on University of Radio Biafra on YouTube. Precisely, that is our official anchor, University of Radio Biafra on YouTube. We are there. We are on IPOB Community Radio. We are on Instagram. We are on Twitter. We are everywhere. If you wish to listen to us, I believe that we are also on tuning. We are on Garden Radio. We are on Simple Radio. We are on Sweet Radio. However, means or way you choose to listen to us, you should be able to do so. The whole world is listening. Everywhere you go to right now, people are listening, not just on social media but via other means as well i welcome each and every one of you this very morning before we proceed to open our lines i have a few things to say but before that even we have to pray and pray very very briefly that elohim may come to take charge as always that you the god almighty in heaven whom we serve adore and praise may be able to come down or should i say give his angels instruction to stand guard over us sons of men is anyone in a china can not keep from me in a chico kika be a mabini way on your banana yeah come on a modern up you sell on you on the moves in a fan on your body when it goes your work here on your Na anya wo na onwa na kwisi ala nye. Onye ku fife na asopuro. Onye bulimri na ngantilo nulia. Na nke bre de ngozi maru mbebe gebe. Obe jama kanye na jago tito kanye ne togi nsopuro kanye na asopuro ge. Onye obo nani ya na achi. Nye ni nekele ke bunke ge. Mwa na mada bo nani ge kele hanu yigin na nke bre de ngozi. Chine ke neze bube. Oni me liwe, oni obo nani abo unye mbo, no oni ipete mazo, oni ne purondi huwe ne purohazo, oni obo nani ya bebri no bode kwe nsubu zu gada. Owe na adane yon oku no bochi kete, eze nde nso. Omo yuko siwe hanyi nono, kama obo kanyiwe nye goto na sopro na ijama, ni hi na mbo nini mendo hanyi nanke bro obo nani kanyi ni rubeli si. When I be selling, I never get far off. See, I never get far off. See, I try happy. I never get far off. I come mad on that girl, but I never get any not be selling. I never say that I don't turn so poor. I jam. Sit and be happy. My own baby, I don't know. He say, he say, he say. I prayed in the language of heaven, the oldest language known to man. 
before we open our lines this very morning i am going to ask you to please do bear with me i have a few things to say a few announcements to make so to speak and then we shall proceed but first of all there was something that i tweeted yesterday which i'm sure that most of you must have become accustomed to something i said very many years ago i said it in the year 2015 when i was addressing the world war congress in los angeles in california in the united states of america i made it very known to them in fact this very morning i'm asking Sumto and all the rest of them i'm gonna ask you all of you go and find that very clip of my address to world war congress in 2015 and simply cut out the area where i said in no uncertain terms very categorically in my assertion that the Fulani Janjaweed are coming. I said it in that very program, I said it very clearly, that they are coming is only a matter of time. Go and look for that clip and cut it out and make sure it goes viral, make sure it is everywhere because everything happening in the zoo today, I prophesied about it very, very many years ago. I wanted to go and cut it out because there was a headline that was published yesterday, Abuja schools shut down a truckload load of bandits arrive in border town. Schools are shutting down in Abuja. As we told them, everything that happened to Biafra during the war must happen to all of them in the zoo. Today, schools are shutting down the same way they shut down our schools during the war. These are the things that people must understand that begin to come to terms with that anything we say, anything we proclaim, anything that we give life to on this very platform by proclaiming it must come to pass. I want you to go and find it very, very minutely, very, very urgently, where I said in 2015, during my address to World War Congress in Los Angeles, I made it very, very clear to them, if you don't give us guns and bullets, they will come. And when they will come, it will be too late for all of us. And now they have arrived, as confirmed by this leadership newspaper. Headline, Abuja School shut down, a truckload of bandits arrived in border town. As I warned all of you that they would come very many years ago. There is no prophet, there is no soothsayer, there is no predictor, there is nobody who can match the accuracy of our prediction, nobody anywhere in the world, because Elohim is with us. We are whiter than white and whiter than snow. That is why all these revelations can come to us before other mortals can say it. We have seen it and we announced it, I told you in 2015, that the Janjaweed will come. I warned you they're going to come. I told you that the Fulanis will come. They will take over your government. They will enthrone a type of nepotism and retrogressive governance that the likes the world has never seen before. And now it is happening before our eyes. It's happening before you. I warned you, if you do not give me guns and bullets in 2015, that the Janjaweed will come. And they have come. They have gone to Abia State. They have gone to Abia State University in Uturu. They have kidnapped some students. And I want to make it very clear this morning that those that kidnap the students are not full any terrorists, not the bandits that we are all accustomed to. They were kidnapped by full any soldiers and full any police people. Near Law, but that is where they are. That is where they are keeping these people inside Law and military barracks. They, they, it is, I blame all Jews or Carlo. People must announce this very clearly this morning. The kidnap of these students, I am laying it squarely on the doorstep of all Jews or Carlo. All Jews or Carlo, that is fully, all Jews or Carlo, that friend, and should I say boyfriend to, to full any men, that all Jews or Carlo is the person responsible for what is happening. He is the one that gave land to full any terrorists in law he is the one that made sure they are they established a military barracks to guard terrorists who are in law they are the ones that kidnapped our people and i'm making it very clear now to esn all over biafra land that we are going to comb all the forests surrounding abia state university we are going to comb it and because i am insisting i know our intel is telling us that those they kidnapped yesterday they are holding them in military barracks near Loba. That is where they are. That Fulani terrorist camp along the expressway after Munoch, if you're heading to Enugu, that is where they are. That is where they are holding them. That is where all the males will have their penises cut off to be sent to China as a delicacy. Maybe one ton soup with, with penis in it. That is where they are holding our women that they are going to marry off to Boko Haram terrorists and ISIS in West Africa. 
That is where those students are being kept. People that kidnapped them, I don't want Nigerian newspapers, all those zoological republic journalists to be writing junk. I am telling you categorically this morning, it was not the Fulani terrorists that carried out this attack because there are no Fulani terrorists in Jaffa land. We have neutralized them. There is no, no longer Mieti Yala terrorizing people. Those who are doing this now are Fulani people in army and police uniforms. And that is why we must stop them. That is why we must recognize, starting from this morning, that the army and the police are our enemies. The Fulani people in Nigerian army, the Fulani people in Nigerian police, they are the ones abducting, killing our people, and we must confront them. That is why everything that Hopu Zodima is doing, that Sadikin Fulani in Imo State must be checkmated. That is why anywhere we see them, we must confront them. If you do not confront them, you give them time to go kidnapping students as they have done yesterday with Apsu students. We must be very, very vigilant. We must be very, very careful. The time has come for us to exert our independence in the zoo. The time has come for us to say to our enemies, we cannot be cowed. The time has come for us to let the Fulani Caliphate, the Janjaweed Caliphate, understand that Biafra land cannot be taken over. Those doing the kidnappings, those doing the armed robberies now that we have in our land are Fulani people in Nigerian army. Fulani people in Nigerian army. And that is why it did not come to me as a surprise nor a shock when I heard that students were arrested, they were kidnapped. Never as a shock to me. That is the consequence of very poor, weak leadership. Those that you call your governors, this is what they have brought to our land. Instead of them to rise up to support Eastern Security Network, they went about trying to float all this mushroom, ineffective, toothless, whatever vigilante that they have around them to allow the Fulanese to come in to kidnap. These are Fulani people in the Nigerian army and the Nigerian police. These are not your typical Fulani Janjaweed from Mali or from Niger Republic. It is the work of the Nigerian army. Their barracks is very close to Lopa. They are the ones providing them cover. That is the terrorist headquarters you have in our land. The settlement, the Fulani settlement in Lopa, is the place that Ojo's Okalu gave to his Fulani boyfriends to go and house their terrorists in our land. I am holding Ojo's Okalu responsible for what is that if any of them should die, Ojo's Okalu will bear the consequences of it. And I'm directing the entire command structure of Eastern Security Network to ensure that no vehicle will leave our land through Enugu Iwacha Expressway, that they are not going to go anywhere. I am asking them this morning to go into the bushes and into the forest surrounding Abia State University in Uturu to make sure that those people are rescued. It is a director, it is a command to the entire Eastern Security Network architecture on the ground in Biafra land to make sure that these students are found and found immediately. And we are going to go into Lopa to go and search the place. That is where they're holding them. They are holding them in the military barracks inside Lopa. If they do anything to them, we are also going to excavate the land. We are going to use detection equipment equipment anywhere the soil is disturbed we know that they have buried them in there we are going to mount a very rigorous consistent and round the clock vigilance around lopa that is where these things are happening from and our people must understand this those involved now in kidnapping those involved now in extortion those involved in armed robbery are full army people in army uniforms they are full army people in police uniforms that is why we must not allow the police to leave their bodies anymore sorry to leave there of course it's their barracks their stations we must not allow the army to leave their barracks anymore without engaging them these are the criminals if you allow the army to move about freely if you allow the police to move about freely in biafra land they will kill they will pillage they will kidnap they will rape and they will slaughter our people i am praying for the safe return of these very students abducted from Absi. We are praying for their safe return. We are not just going to lament. As uh, some people answering or Hanez and their throne and Yoshi are doing. We are going to find them. Or else there will be no movement of any vehicle in and around that very area. There will be no vehicle coming into Okigwem. There will be no vehicle leaving Okigwem. There will be none coming into Isukwatom. There will be none leaving. There will be none coming into Lopa. There will be none leaving until we find these students and immediately. Immediately we must find them. And for these students that were kidnapped and their parents, we warned you before that Nigeria, Nigeria is a death trap. 
Nigeria will kill all of you before you realize. Because some of you are very, very irredeemably stupid and foolish. You do not understand. You cannot read the handwriting on the wall. Why do you think they put idiots like Opus or Emma in power? Why do you think that you have all these weaklings called governors in your area, handpicked by a Fulani caliphate to do their bidding for them? We are not going to allow this nonsense to stand. If they want peace along that very axis of Okigwe, Isikwato, and Loba, Umunochi, they must release the students and those holding them are camped in the Fulani Ruga camp given to the Janjaweed by Ojos or Carlo. Ojos or Carlo is the person to be blamed for the kidnap of these students. And he will be held responsible for it as well. We are not going to forgive anybody for this. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. These are the things that we must come to terms with immediately. I am asking the entire operations commander on the ground of Eastern Security Network in Imo State and also in Abia, with help also from Enugu, we must find these students that were kidnapped. We must put the heat on them until they are released. And we know where they are being held. I'm warning the Nigerian army, I'm warning the Nigerian police, before I do anything, I warn you in advance. I'm warning all the terrorists living in Lopa, you must give up the people that you're holding. These students are in Lopa, uh, Fulani terrorist camp, given to them by Ojos or Carlo, and we must find them. Ojos or Carlo, this is the handiwork, this is what you have done for your people. Because of your desire, because of your desire to serve the Fulani Janjaweed, our young men and women have now been kidnapped. Students of Abia State University. We must make sure that they are released immediately because we are living in a zoo, in a jungle, a place worse than a zoo. That is why people are dying and they are suffering. And I want you to understand the mindset of those that you call your leaders in the zoo. I want everybody to listen very, very attentively to what I have to say regarding that midget, El Rufai, in Kaduna. Do you know what that idiot said? He said, we are ready to lose some people. In other words, we are ready to kill some students. We are ready to kill some Nigerian students because we wanted to bombard bandits where they are. It doesn't matter. In every other part of the world, the USA came all the way from America to come to Boko Haram held territory in the north to release US hostages without even killing the terrorists. This idiot, this midget, these are the fools they call intellectuals. These are the these are the idiots in Africa that inhabit Africa that people refer to as educated people. He doesn't mind killing other people's children in order to prove a point. That is what he's saying. It is it was carried in the zoo, one of the zoo newspapers. Kaduna State Governor. Nasser El Rufai on Thursday said when 29 students of the Federal College of Forestry Me and Mechanization Africa in Kaduna were abducted. Their plan was to attack and kill the bandits, even if it means killing some students. Even if it means that some students will die in the process. Can you imagine? This is the mindset of Fulani Janja with Islamic, Islamic extremism gone crazy. These are the idiots you call leaders in Nigeria. These are the idiots that you refer to as your governors. Look at the way they are thinking. Look at the way they are reasoning. Are these the type of people you want to be in the same country with? He was not concerned about the lives of the innocent students abducted from this college of forestry in Kaduna. He wanted to prove a point. We are going to bomb the only country in the world where the air force is busy bombarding their own citizens nowhere else in the world will an aircraft take off in the same country to bomb citizens in that country i want you to go and do your research these are the type of animals you have as political leaders these are the type maybe when he grows old he begins to listen like a passenger these are the fools that don't even understand what civil society is all about they don't understand what governance is all about they do not even have any appreciation of what a democratic discourse entails they have no idea all they are concerned about all they are are busy doing every day is how do we kill people how do we get them to be afraid of us that we may continue to loot in perpetuity he doesn't care if these other people's children are dead a sitting governor in a state 
And that is what they, maybe that's what they're going to do around us. They will say, oh, they were kidnapped by bandits. Let us go and bomb them. They will start raining bombs in and around Okigwe, in and around the Sikwato and Lopa and Umunuchi. We are not going to have that. We are saying, I'm telling you this morning, that the people that kidnapped our students yesterday are Nigerian army and Nigerian police. They are the people that did it. And they must produce those people or else there will be no peace along that very axis. When I mean, I am now warning everybody, there will be no transport movement. I'm giving them only 24 hours. If they do not release those, those kids that we have picked up yesterday or thereabout, there will be no peace. There will be no movement from you watch at Wenugu. There will be no vehicle that will travel from Iwacha to Enugu. No vehicle will crisscross from Isukwato or from Okigwe to Owele. There will be none until we find them. Because if we allow movement of vehicles, they will smuggle these people out of our land. They will smuggle them out of our land. And maybe by this time, in the next uh, three weeks or thereabout, their private parts will be in a one-ton soup somewhere in Shanghai. And we don't want that to happen. This is the price you pay for having idiots in power. This is the price you pay for allowing Abakiyari to impose hopes on you people. This is the price you pay for supporting idiots and full-on slaves like Hodges or Carl. This is the price you pay for having quizlings, weak idiots like Okezi Bazo in power. This is the price you pay for a failed leadership. That is why your children have been taken. And I'm warning every Fulani person in the army and in the police in Biafra land, especially in and around Loba, those of you responsible for the kidnap of these children yesterday, you must release them. Or else there will be no peace. You must release them. And I want Kadira Ahmed, I want all these people, idiots writing for daily trust. I want the whole world to understand. I want the US ambassador to understand. I want the UK high commissioner to understand. I want the EU ambassador to Nigeria to understand. I want every observer to understand this very, very clearly. Those in AU, those in ECOWAS to understand this very carefully. The full and a camp in law is where our people are being held. That is where our children, university, undergraduates are being held. And they must be released. With immediate effect, they must be released. Should harm come to one of them, should harm come to one of them, then you will understand. That is why I am saying today, anywhere you see the army, you will attack them because they are coming to kill, to kidnap, to rape, and to pillage. Anywhere you see the Nigerian police, the same thing. They are your enemies. Nigerian police, they are your enemies. Nigerian army, they are your enemies. Any idiot in Abuja or in Lagos writing rubbish and telling you they are your friends, that person should be stoned to death. I'm telling you the truth. Because this type of kidnap has never happened before in our land. It is happening for the first time because those engineering it are full of terrorists. And we cannot allow them to prevail. We can never, ever allow them to prevail. Please, you must give me some time. Very, very briefly, or should I say shortly, the lines will be open for you to give us your take on what we are reporting today. On what we are reporting today, because the Fulani, they think they can cage everybody. They, keep, they think or feel that they can shut everybody up. They have now caged the media. The Yoruba cowardly media have submitted, or should I say succumbed, to Fulani threats. That is why yesterday we are reading that 5 million naira will be paid to the National Broadcasting Commission by Channels Television and Inspiration FM for IPUOB interviews. And as I keep saying all the time, there is something wrong with the brain of black people. Black people are the most useless creature on this very earth. Lower than animals, lower than monkeys, lower than baboons. I'm telling you the truth. Because you cannot tell me that you stay in a country. We are full of things that only their narrative should hold sway. We are full of things that any lie coming out of the, the, the mouth of Lai Muhammad is what should be accepted as gospel. You banned IPOB, you prescribed IPOB without a recourse to any due judicial process. You start down in your office, you said IPOB must be proscribed. We have been asking you to come to your court to prove that IPOB is not a terrorist group for how many years now? Since 2017. You have not done so. You have not done so. 
Now you are asking, you are telling channels television that they cannot, people, the whole world cannot hear the voice of IPOB spokespeople because you want the lies that you're trotting out to hold sway. The same way that you lied that I jumped bail. That is what you want. Any day we now go, or maybe on AIT or anywhere else, to push that lie, you will find them, you will ban them, you will suspend them. That is the type of country that some idiots are calling their own. That is the type of country that some people are calling Nigeria. One Nigeria. May God punish all of you from a bus angel to all of you, to any pastor, to any idiot that will talk about one Nigeria. God will punish all of you one after the other. Like Unoko, you people are evil. You stay in a country where somebody can come out and keep lying. Every blessed day, IPOB was proscribed due to the activities. What is that activity? Let us go to your courts to debate it. Let us go to your courts to argue it. You have refused. You have not given us that chance. From since 2017 till now, we have not been to any law court in Nigeria to argue that IPOB should not be prescribed because you're running from your own courts. In the same country, if you lie against IPOB, if you come and you lie against the people and we we somehow found a way to make to to perhaps straighten the records that the world may know the truth, you find the TV station responsible and the FM station responsible. All of you, all of you idiots called Nigerians, you fools, you idiots, you morons are allowing Fulani to be doing these things every blessed day. You people, you allow Fulani to be toying about with your lives because you're cowardly, because you're foolish, because you're idiotic. When they say name, you don't register. BVN, you don't register. You don't even ask yourself, what are the consequences of all these registrations that Fulani are asking us to do? Yesterday, they removed a post authority woman for corruption. A Fulani woman. They replaced her with another Fulani man. All of you are just there. Idiotically, anything that Fulani dishes out, you accept it. We just like her. Basanjo. Basanjo is one of the worst fools in the world. That man is an idiot. He's an idiot. I'm telling you the truth. All of you fools, you see what is happening in the zoo and you keep quiet. Because you want. Yoruba people to be enjoying oil and gas coming from Biafra land. God will punish Obasanjo. God will punish that idiot. Punish him ten times over. Punish him a million times over. Because he is evil. An evil, stupid man. And all the idiots going to Obasanjo's altar farm. All the fools going there to pay homage to that, to that Satan. We all of you will suffer, I'm telling you. I place a curse on all of you this very morning. You are in a country where... You are lying against the people. The TV station called them to find out their own version, which even if you go to a law court, after the state must have presented their case, the accused person will be also allowed to present his or her case. That was exactly what happened. And you people are there, and Channels TV will pay 5 million naira fine. Inspiration FM will pay five million naira fine, and you are in the country being ruled by fallen animals, and all of you are there keeping quiet, not saying anything. Shame on all of you, I'm telling you. All of you idiots that call yourselves Nigerians, all of you monkeys. Sometimes I don't even know why God ever bothered to create black people. I have no idea. You people are idiotic beyond redemption. Black people are fools, I'm telling you. You stay in a country where six million people, full and they are not up to six million. Full and they are not up to six million people. Look at the way they are lodging it over everybody. Idiots like a boss and job, a complete fool like a boss and job, is there throwing their part because uh, maybe they made him who he is today. Useless idiots. Let's uh, it's only if channels TV want to be very foolish by paying this fan expression. What they need to do is that every journalist in Nigeria, every media house, if if they insist that channels must pay this very fine, they should all shut up shop. All of them should go on strike in the zoo to teach Fulani a lesson. Because of your stupid behavior, that is the reason why Fulani became emboldened to be doing all this manner of nonsense, anything they like they can do, and get away with it in front of your eyes in a country with federal character. Nigerian post authority woman, a Fulani woman goes, another one, another, another one comes in, another Fulani man comes in, and you're telling me that you're human beings, you are learned, you are educated, we are the elite, we are the enlightened ones, you people are morons, you know nothing, you are foolish, you know nothing. Fools everywhere, and they are in this movie. That was the same way that was it yesterday. They said, Oh, I should be look at the word in full and they are liars. 
unrepentant, unrepentant, demonic liars. They lie. They know how to lie. Them and their useless zoo media. Them and their useless Yoruba zoo media. Satanic people. Lucifer. Lucifer, you people are Luciferians. That is why black people are poor and backwards. Because a black person is the embodiment of evil. Only Soji is, is, is black people are evil. Beyond evil. All of you were there 14th of September 2017 when my house was attacked by the Nigerian Army and Nigerian police. 28 of my men were killed. As a result of that invasion of my house, I lost my parents. My mom and my dad are dead today. Are you following me very carefully? Do you know that in Nigeria, that is why I'm telling you the truth. If I have a means, believe you me, when I die, of course, I will see God. I will ask God the Almighty in heaven, why did you create black people? Why did you create black people are the most wicked species of animal in the world? Black people are more wicked than a serpent. Black people are evil. This yogi, they are evil. A black person is the embodiment of evil. I'm telling you the truth. All of you stupid Nigerians were there. And in fact, as I'm saying this right now, I want the video of the invasion of my house on the 14th of September 2017 to be released to the whole world. To put a lie to this, their nonsense. Asking Abaribe, Abaribe should be in, in prison for not producing a name, the kind of deputy speaker. That same idiotic deputy speaker that did not allow TV people in America to speak. Or the statement that they wrote to be read on the floor of the house. And you people are there answering one Nigeria. You people are there. These are the idiots who are the helm of affairs in your stupid zoological republic. In that damnable damnation that you call Nigeria. These are the, mon these are the morons. Absolute idiots. How can you have uh, 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 electricity. How can you have employment in a place run by these 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 retarded Neanderthals? I'm asking you, how can it be that somebody with conscience, a newspaper in Nigeria, is writing this rubbish? Everybody best should produce, uh, should go to prison for not producing them the camera. I was in my house preparing to go to court. You came to kill me. You killed 28 people. You, my mom and my dad died as a result of it. My mother-in-law died as a result of it. And you people are telling me that you have conscience that you're human beings is that what you're telling me this your g is that what you're telling me you people are evil black people are evil and that is why africa is poor god condemned africa to poverty because black people are evil this your g the john you people are evil beyond evil i'm telling you the truth in national assembly in the zoo called nigeria in abuja that I pray and I hope I'm fasting that Boko Haram should go there and destroy all of you. You people are evil. Nigeria should not exist. You are asking Abaribe to go to prison for not. I was in my house. I was in my house preparing to go to court. You came to kill me extrajudicially. The press will not write about it. The zoo media don't talk about it because they are evil. They are black people. They are black. I stopped blaming God for the plight of black people because they have the mind of an average black person is replicates that of Lucifer. That is why we are black. Very, very evil set of people. I'm telling you the truth. Why is it that nobody, no human being in the zoo, no media house, especially Europa, can come out and write the truth and ask this idiot deputy speaker of whatever useless house it is in the zoo, what we are you doing with a battalion of army and police in the Kano's house on the 14th of September of 2017? Nobody can ask that question. That is why I have come to the conclusion that black people should not have existed. In this show, they are evil. They are evil. Black people are evil. I'm telling you. Evil. Beyond evil. God should not have created black people. Black people should not have been created. They are too, too wicked. I'm telling you the truth. Not just wicked, but very foolish and ignorant as well. Let us go to court to determine this very case. They don't want to call the case in court. Binta Nyako is there. Call this case in court. Let our lawyers go and debate it in the open to put to bed this lie once and for all.
Aparibé is in court. Aparibé went to court and defeated them in court and said the, the person I stood shot for was in his house. What were you doing in his house? Killing people. They ran away from court. And this idiot, this monkey, this fallen irredentist, this fool has the guts to mention Aparibé's name. And all of you are reading it. All of you are reading it. As if you're fools. God should destroy black people. Black people are evil. That is why everywhere you go to around the world, they treat you as slaves. Because in your mind, in the mind of a black person, you are satanic. That was what God saw and cost black people. Your wickedness is your undoing. I was in my house preparing to go to court. And as I'm saying, some to and all the rest of them, I want you to release and tag the deputy speaker of whatever rubbish he is. I don't know who the idiot is, who the monkey is. If not for Lugard, will I be in the same country with these animals? These full animals, if not for a white man, if not for the British, will I be in the same country with these animals? I'm asking you. I can never be. I can never be. These are animals. I have nothing to do with them. Absolutely nothing to do with these idiots. Idiots from the Sahel, idiots from the foothills of the mountain of vultures in Futajalon. I will have nothing to do with them. These are savages from the pits of hell. These are these are animal wild beasts, as you can see all over the place. These are the people that you call your fellow citizens in the zoo called Nigeria. Let us go to court to debate the issue of IPOB prescription and tagging of terrorism. They are running from their own court. A newspaper in Nigeria will get up and be writing junk prescribed. When we are the ones begging them, come to court, let us debate this. They are the ones running. Abaribe went to court and defeated them in court. Yet the idiot is, is, is opening his stupid, stinking, full and mouth to be talking rubbish in Abuja. And papers are carrying it. He said he is the speaker, deputy speaker of, of, of the house, Idris Wasi. If not for Queen Elizabeth and Britain, will I you know who you are? This full and idiot, you contribute nothing to the economy. The other day, we saw a young boy from Abia build a transformer, build an electrical system. A little boy, he didn't go to university because we are born as scientists from our mother's womb. We are blessed people. A white man put all of us together in this nonsense called Nigeria. In this nonsense where that produces idiots like Obasanjo. Idiots like Obasanjo. Oh, God in heaven. As ugly as his mind is, as, as devilish as his mind is, they can never speak the truth. Never ever will they speak the truth. And that is why black people will continue to suffer all over the world until the restoration of Biafra. Only Biafra can save black people. Anywhere you go, blacks are suffering, they're killing them, be it in Papua New Guinea, be it in USA. Everywhere you go, we are at the bottom. Nobody is asking himself, why is it that black people are always are at the bottom of things? Why? Because you are evil. You black people, you are satanic. Your wickedness is second to none. That was what God saw. God looks into, the, go and read your Bible, your so-called Bible. God looks into the hearts of men and decide to bless any race according to their conscience of understanding of the universe and the word of God. God saw the heart of a white man, that though white people are a bit funny because they're humans, of course. He said that these people, out of everything I have created, Western Europe, Western Europe are those who are closest to honesty. That's why they have all the grace. If you don't know, let me tell you. That the world, imagine a world ruled by black people from Africa. What do you think will happen? Anything that comes outside will be slaughtered. The head will be cut off immediately. These are, we are savages now. Black people are savages of the worst kind. That was why God gave white people the grace, the Caucasian race. The black race was created before. Homo sapiens before Homo erectus and then the Neanderthals. Black people started talking before white people started to speak, to formulate word and language. But God looked at the wickedness of a black man and said, no, these people are evil. For that, I am going to curse them 
and I'm going to punish them. That is why, without exception, be it the Aborigines in Australia, everywhere you go around the world, dark-skinned people, black people are suffering because we are wicked. When you have the likes of Obasanjo, when you have the likes of people that claim they went to school, they see the truth and they turn that truth upside down. What do you expect God to do? All of you were there. Nobody, not even comments, are asking them. But Nam the Kano was in his house when you came on the 14th of September to kill him. Who, which court, which court gave you the order to go to his house to kill him? They can never answer. Mad, stupid people produce. And let, let me tell you something. There is a Chinese missile that is out of control in, in space. A stray Chinese missile raises terror as it is expected to fall back to the ground between the next Saturday from tomorrow until Monday. And the location where it's going to fall, nobody knows. I, I, I have been fasting and praying to God to let this missile fall on Asorok. That is a, a, a rogue Chinese missile that went crazy. It has lost control and is falling back to Earth. The Earth's gravitational forces is pulling it down to Earth. And I am praying to God and everybody should pray and fast that this out-of-control Chinese missile should fall on Asorok. Some of you don't know that black people are condemned by God himself. Another condemnation is the presence of full on agenda within your lives. Everything I tell you is the truth. By the time you realize what Britain did to you by putting you and Fulani people together, it will be too late. Because all of you, most of you will be in your graves. By then, they would have killed all of you. Those people, people talk all over the world about genocide and pogrom and whatever, the Nazi and all the rest of them. I am telling you that Fulani is worse than Nazi Hitler, than, than Hitler's Nazi party. Fulani is worse than Hitler. You see some of them, they come out and they say, they try to speak English. Hey, he's uh, this thing. That's how the trouble started in Rwanda. In all this was rubbish. Fulani is evil. Beyond evil. By the time all of you zoo morons realize it, it will be very, very late. Very, very late. Out of control, Chinese missile uh, 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 in the sky. Please fall on us, Rock. We are begging you. Fall on that very place. So that Yusuf Abubakar Muhammad will understand what he has done to himself. I believe in an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a burn for a burn, a life for a life. That was how we got to where we are today. That's a quote by Jenny Han, which I tweeted this very morning. The Fulani have taken over the politics, the political terrain of Nigeria. They have run the economy to the ground that now they are printing money every blessed day. You people, you don't know what you're in for. By the time Fulani is done with you, in your next life, if you have four, not la or ni, you, 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 you disappear. I'm telling you the truth. They are now printing money. They have, they have destroyed the economy. And when you speak, they arrest you as they try to arrest Fadambaka. There was something Fadambaka said that is very, very pivotal that people don't understand. The first 24 hours of any of anybody being kidnapped is very, very critical. Fadambaka opened his mouth and said, if not for what people in Enugu did when he was declared missing, that he doesn't know what would have become of him. Our problem is, you see, DSS, we must eliminate them. Army, we must eliminate them. Police, we must eliminate them in our land. We Now we have vigilantes, we have people everywhere. We can guard our own land. Before the white man came, we had no police, we had no army. There was no war. Nobody was stealing anybody's goods. We are the only people in the history of man that had no army. No police. Everybody behaved themselves. Are you following me? We don't need DSS in our land. We don't need the army. If you allow them, they'll keep kidnapping people. They'll keep abducting people. They'll keep taking our students. That is something you don't understand. I don't, anyway, let me stop complaining. Because uh, we are, after all, we are black. <laughs> Listening is not, uh, is not one of our strongest points, is it, really? In this UG. In this UG. Biafra land is going to be free from terrorism. And I'm asking whoever is the commandant of the barracks near Lopa where you are holding those students, you must release them and let no harm come to them. Let no harm come to them. 
Everybody best to shut it for me. Went to court and defeated the Nigerian government. Gave them simple facts and figures. I stood short it for, for Nam the Khan, yes. But what were you doing in his house killing people? They all ran away from the court. Yet a whole deputy speaker has the guts to come up to be talking rubbish. And you're telling me that black people are normal. They are not. Our lines are now open, please. Our lines are now open. You know the number to call. Please try and republish Mesoman Co. Try and republish the number for people to call, please. We are going to get us on, on signal this very morning. And you're also going to be able to get us on WhatsApp as well. Signal and WhatsApp. People are calling already. If you call us now, we are going to take your call. I have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? Your name and where you are, please. Hello, I'm Yes, please. Your name and where you're calling from? Good morning, Good morning to you. My name is uh, Nemeka. And where are you calling from? Nemeka. I'm calling from Indonesia. Indonesia, go ahead, please. Very briefly, go ahead. One minute, please. One minute, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Hamadiki, there is something I want to talk about. Please, don't misunderstand me. Don't misunderstand me, please. I'll try not to. This thing has been, this thing has been eating me. Whenever I even listening to you, I'm not only listening to your words, but I'm listening to your anger. And that anger himself, that anger you are feeling, I feel it times hundred in me about those governors. Look, they are killing our boys. They are killing our men. And when they finish killing those. Uh, 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 able, able, able uh, uh, men who, who will be there to, to defend our land again. They are happy people and they are foolish. Those people, they are blind. So we need to teach one of them a lesson. I don't know what. We need to, even though sacrifice, even though 10 people, sacrifice 10 people for one person's head. It's okay. Yes. I'm listening. We are, we are all listening. You are, what you're saying is correct. Even though sacrifice even five, ten people in one person, like that whole post of the man. He's just claiming, he's just feeling uh, uh, pompous that he can do anything he, he wants. You know? So let us do something on this man. Or let us do something on them. Because our people are dying. People are dying. Look at, there is a, one, my brother from uh, uh, this thing sent me a message, say that there is one trailer brought a uh, few and Yes, sir. go and check the index. Go and check it now. Is, is, is Somalia not better than this? It is better than this. Um, I'm uh -huh. telling well. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, my dear brother, for calling. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. The caller on the line, can you hear me? I have a caller on the line. Please, your name and where you're calling from, if you may. Mazi, Mazi, good morning, sir. Good morning to yeah. you, please. Your name and where you're calling from? My name is Ezen Ozoko. I am from Enugu State. I'm calling you from Germany, sir. From Germany. Please go ahead. We are listening. Thank you very much, Mazen Amdekano. Uh, in fact, you don't know how happy you have made me this morning for picking this very call. It has been a long time. But that um, is not what I am going to say here. I, For the first time you are picking this call, I want to appreciate you for being who you are today teaching us to know what uh, consistency means and the teaching us to know our left, uh, our right from our left. What I am here to suggest is this. You have done, I think, right now what we am uh, just suggesting. You have done the 95% of the work needed to restore Biafra. And our people know. Everybody know. And our people have gotten this very message right. I want to suggest to you that I know, I know very well that you knew that we here in diaspora, we are in millions. You are aware and you know, and you know that we got your back. So what I am saying in essence is this, if these governors who are ruling us don't want us to be free, or if they think that they have those who they buy with their money to come out and, uh, and to stay in the sun to vote for them, will everybody know that they bought all those people? If they think that uh, they are having more people that, than you control, than we the people want to be free on our own, 
then let us allow referendum date. Let them come out openly and settle this. Or if they refuse to settle this, I think everybody is hearing what I'm saying, and you have been saying this. We are not answerable to them. They are not our leader. We don't know them. These people are imposed on us. They are imposed on us. We did not vote them. I am saying this now. I know you have been saying this. But what I am saying here is this. Let them allow us to decide where we belong or where we want to belong. They are not our fathers. God did not create them and name them our governor. It was Sunanese. It is their plan to keep us down, keep us bringing our goods from Lagos to, 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 to Anambra, from Lagos to Enugu. Somebody who imports container from Germany here will, will rescue you. It's only in Lagos. Very Thank you, Sir Mazin Amdekan. Thank you, my Thank dear you brother. And much. everything you have said has been taken on board and will be acted upon as quickly as possible. I have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? Hello, Mazi. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you're calling from? My name is Samuel Wolfo. I'm calling from Germany. From Germany again. Please go ahead. We're listening. The world is listening to you. Go ahead. Yes, Mazi. Uh, please, we. I don't know how it is. We are going to. I think Biafran land, we need to, ESN need to come to the border. The time is getting, these people are disturbing and they bringing the Janja weed into our land and they be killing us. This border, see how we need to be bombing that uh, they are trailers. That anything they come to uh, Biafran land, we need to destroy it. So please, I don't know how it is. It's taking a long time. I know you are trying everything and do everything possible. But by now, I think we are going to secure our borders. It's getting too late. What you're saying is correct. And we are doing everything we can to make that possible. And we are also speaking to our partners. I'm not going to name the place to make sure that our borders are tightened up. And I must be very frank, you know, I'm a very frank person. I like what our Yoruba brothers and sisters have been doing so far, but they are not moving fast enough. They are not moving fast enough. I believe that any day our people, our brethren, our brothers and sisters in the Oduduwa Republic Agitation Movement begin to do 10% of what we are doing right now, the zoo is gone. You understand? Because what we need to do is to open a front also in the West. They must understand this very, very critically. This zoo army cannot be stretched in three dimensions. It's not possible. It is not possible. They should stop listening to their old idiots like Obasanjo and Tinubu and rise up unless they want to remain slaves forever and ever. They must do what we are doing. What ESN is doing in the, in the East uh, there, there has to be a group that will do something in the West. And the zoo is gone. Yes. And they will go to our borders and defend it. And if the Middle Belt want to be part of what we are doing, they should also raise their men as well to come out and do it. If you are, if you, if Fulani slaps you or one cheek, you turn the other side, he will cut off your head. He will not even slap you, you he, will, he will behead you. That's something that, that this woman must old mentality, old mentality. We don't have that mentality anymore. Is Bible teaches us uh, turn a uh, New Testament. Turn you cannot turn the other cheek. The problem we are having right now, the problem we have right now, is that my Oduduwa brethren are very, very slow. They are too slow. You don't wait for everybody to come at the same time. Those who are more radical, those who are more militant, you go into the bush immediately and begin to harass these people. That's how the whole thing comes to an end. You will see that Fulani will capitulate overnight. If you keep listening, oh, 2023 is our turn, insecurity, all that rubbish. Fulani will kill all of you before you know it. Because many more fighters are coming in from the Sahel. Thank you very much for that. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me, please? Your name and where you are. Yes, I uh, Good morning, good morning, Mazi. Oh, you do, I don't know you, so why? Oh, Biafra, Lade, Kenengi, I greet you, dear friends, all over the world. My name is Onye Dikachi Ejazi. I am from Ifite, Ifite, Urumba, province, Biafra land. 
And I lived in the Germany for seven years, eight months now in, in Switzerland, and the area of suffering everywhere in the world. Mazi, uh, let me not take your time. Mazi, I, it is time for we to block our exit. All our exit for the, to these people to come into Biafra will block all this our exit. It is time for full blow war. Let us pull this thing once and for all, Mazi. We are dying every day. The more time we are wasting, more time these people are planning and bringing new strategies. Mazi, we have men. Mazi, we men are ready to. To, to burn this wood, uh, man. If I any go up here, up here for complete remorse. One day, if I even, if I, I can't go that line. Eh? We can't have this people sucking our oil and use the same our money for our for our to fight us in our land, to kill us, man. Because, 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 may God bless you, man. You need to. I'm blessing you. Thank you very much. We are going to do all we can to stop it. You know that uh, Obama's advisor is the lead consultant for Fulani Caliphate in Washington D.C. His name is David Axelrod. He used to work for Obama. In other words, Obama is in support of the fallen mayhem and carnage going on in the zoo because he is an Islamic extremist. Obama is an Islamic extremist. If not, he would not have allowed David Axelrod, his trusted close advisor, to be taking money that belongs to the people of the zoo to be lobbying for the Fulani Caliphate in, 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 in Washington, D.C. People must understand this very, very carefully. Thank you very much, my dear brother, for your call. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? Your name and where you're calling from, please. Hi. Hello. Um, my name is Ebu. I am Yoruba. Yes, go ahead, please. Okay. And where are you I, calling from? Um, you are Yoruba, but where are you calling from? You have the, 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 uh, from Europe. From Europe, go ahead, please. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. Where are you okay. calling from? Where you are? You are calling from. Where are you phoning us from? You are in Europe, is that correct? In, yes. Go ahead, please. But I'm Yoruba. You are Yoruba, thank you. I'm go ahead. Able. Okay. I have been uh, uh, trying to reach you. You, I, I listened to your last, which was uh, two days ago, I think it was. I listened to your last. Uh, uh, lecture online. Yes. And you were able, or a couple of days ago, you were able to trace the origin of the Igbos. Yes. And I actually expected you to be able to trace the origin of the Fulanis. The Fulanis <laughs> are from the Middle East. They are the children of Edom. They have been, uh, uh, been uh, supported by Saudi Arabia. It's not because they have money they are giving them. Yes. I was, uh, I was enlightened by this, by an Ethiopian woman. You know the Ethiopians? Yes. I always look at them that they are, they are proud, they don't uh, want to uh, be called Africans. And in my foolishness, I was like, say maybe they, they have Arab root. And she corrected me. She was the one... Uh, that uh, put it in my mind to start with my uh, research. Yes. She told me that it was an insult to her for me to say she has Arab roots. Arabs are the children of Edomites, not all of them. It was the Edomites that brought together, even if you read Psalm chapter 60 and Psalm chapter 83, it is there. The enemies of the Jews, the enemies of the Israelites, Look at Islam. Go and look at the origin of Islam. You will know that it was the Edomites that combined all the uh, gods, all the moon gods of the Middle East, about 350 of them, and gave it one name. If you go online, Sam Shamoon, he did a thorough explanation referring to Muslim books. Sam Shamoon, Islam is by worship. So, the Fulanis are not Africans. They are not originally from, from Uzzadjalo. They are from the Middle East. They are the children of Edom. Now, they are, you know, I went on archive.org. I looked into uh, the, 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 the books there. And unfortunately, many of the books I should have downloaded, online books, 
you don't find them anymore because anywhere they are, anywhere they are torturing people in their country, they cover up. They don't want the thing to go out. The thing they are doing with us now with our constitution, that you are, nobody else is allowed to own gun, only the federal government. Now they are being put into terrorists. I don't believe we have a government. I believe we are being ruled from Saudi Arabia. They are bringing in terrorists, and Saudi Arabia is the one that wants to Islamize us. Saudi Arabia is always behind terrorism. Not only Saudi Arabia, anyways. You have uh, other places too. So, the, if you would be able to tell the people about the Fulanese, they are not Africans. They are from the Middle East. They are the children of Edom. There is a, a book still online. I hope they won't take it off now that I, if I mention it. Uh, who is Edom? Who is Esau? Uh, hyphen Edom. Written by Andrew Weissman. You will know who they are. Their mission in life is to eradicate Christianity and to destroy the Jews. That is their mission in life because they are still whining about the first, uh, firstborn right. They want to eradicate the Jews and destroy Christianity and bring in one world religion, which is going to be the Luciferianism. Islam is Luciferianism. This is what their mission is. They want to uh, take off Jesus and replace him by Muhammad, take off the Bible and replace it by the, uh, the Kansarag, which they now call uh, uh, Quran. It is Kansarag, book of inter incantations. You will still find some incantations in the, in the book. Okay? And they want to replace Yahweh with Allah. Allah is the moon idol. Go look at it. Sam Shamun. Islam is Baal worship. Thank you very much, my brother. And thank you for your enlightenment. As you were talking, I was listening to you because I have the capacity and capability to multitask. As you were speaking very eloquently and erudately, I was also busy trying to research some of the things that you were saying. And I can confirm categorically that some of the assertions you have brought up this very morning can be corroborated, of course, with scholarly works done by people that I have been able to look at. They have two origins, as with most people. They settled in Senegal. They are not indigenous to Africa. You are absolutely correct. 100% correct. These are the dread, the lowest of the low, the children of Lucifer that came from somewhere around the Levant. I don't call it the Middle East. I call it the Levant region because that is the proper name. They came from there. I don't know what they were running from or what they, what was pursuing them, but they find solace at the foothills of the Futajalon where the vultures were gathered. And today they are behaving like vultures. And we must get rid of them. Thank you very much for calling us this very morning. I thank you for your call. I have another caller on the line, this caller. I don't know where you're calling us from, but give us your name and where you are, please, if you may. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Your name and where you're calling from? My name, name is Omeliho. My name is Omeliho Nabihe. I'm calling from Iguacha. From Iguacha, please go ahead. The land of the, of the little Hitler yeah. that thinks that he has arrived. Yes. <laughs> Hitler. Oh, he's, he's okay. He's joking. We shall see. Yeah, in fact, I am so happy. After the zoo, they kidnapped when they kidnapped you. This is the, and in fact, the first time I was talking to you after the zoo kidnapped you from Nigeria, from the, the zoo, zoo Republic of Nigeria. Yes. So we are happy. We are delighted. In fact, my family, we have been following you. Sir, God will bless you. You say, I'm not you. afraid of any, any person be it man or woman. In fact, in this land today, Nigeria themselves, they knew, the zoo knew that you have really opened their eye. They, and what you promised them that Somalia will be better than Nigeria today is in the history. We can tell anyone that Somalia is not better than Nigeria. All the zoo knew how to do is to kidnap. But kidnapping our students, I am from Abia State. Kidnapping our students cannot help the matter. 
Nigeria has been totally destroyed. So we are behind you. We are behind you. No enemy, no force will hinder what the Lord has destined for us. Yes, father must come. Yes, my father told me something in the past, before my father died. He told me categorically that even if he is not aligned, that we should not allow Biafra to die. He told me before he died. And then somebody is now telling me that it is not achievable. Why won't we in this our generation achieve Biafra? We must surely achieve it. So any day you want to declare Biafra, we, I personally, will stand behind you. Come what may. Just that there are some things I don't want to disclose. I'm a personal and media director. There are, I have my page running. And, sir, we are behind you. Thank you. We are behind you. And there is no going back. At all. We must achieve our... This is what God... Biafra is older than Nigeria. We must achieve it. Older than, older than, older than Britain. Biafra is older than Britain itself. It's a land of the ancients. In fact, they are tired. They are tired. They can do nothing. They cannot hinder our our country. Our country has been a business. So we must have it. It's our land. Full and air, full air. For this gender, we, they cannot come and take or, or take our land. It's not possible. I cannot allow. In fact, the last time, the, if not for security, the last time I went home, these people came to my village. In fact, I sent some of the picture on WhatsApp the other time. Jordan, you did not follow it up. They came to our village. We know what we did to them. I may not disclose it on air, but... We treated them well. We caught them in the middle of the night. Around 11, 12 in the midnight, our youth, I asked them to come out. Boys came out with their arms. And then we entered into the forest and fished them out. Even before all this uh, Eastern Security Network, around the end of last year, we did all those things. They cannot come to my village. I'm from Vosse. They cannot come and go free. We don't throw that nonsense. We don't. So we caught them, we treated them well. And then if others can hear what we did to them, those people cannot come. I assure you that. So, sir, we are with you. Thank you. No second. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for that. I have another caller on the line. I don't know if this caller can hear me, please. Your name and yes, where you are. Yes, it is me. My name is Owa Sophia Mazi. Thank you for answering my call. God bless you, Mazi. Long life. And, and uh, we are with you, Mazi, your dress is sir. Sir, let me not take your time because I always call. You know, our adult people, they don't call. They just keep quiet. Fulani is near, it's very close to Aunchi, sir. From Niger to Aunchi, I don't know, it's 300 Naira. Somebody called me the day before yesterday. 300 Naira from Niger to Aunchi, 300 Naira. They, they give their Islamists before. This time, they will just colonize them other two hours, all of them. Sir, please, why I call you today is that we want you to tell us. We want you to declare the answer, sir, on her, please. Because we don't want to die for that useless flag again. We don't want our people to die for that useless flag. If we are going to uh, uh, start the revolution now, we will raise up our, uh, even if we don't raise up the flag first, because uh, we care the useless uh, ICLA. He said that if they raise up the Afra flag, they share uh, somebody to come and spread the DOS, uh, DSS so that they will pay them 30,000, they will kill the person. So we will not raise the flag, sir. So I just declare the Afra, please, so that we will, we will close our border, all our border, so that we will know what we are fighting for. You understand? So that our people will not go and raise that useless Nigeria flag, that block us, please flag. We don't want it, sir. Please, that is my own contribution. We don't, we don't want you to just tell us. We are all of us. We are Biafra. We know already. Then we want to start. Then we, want, we don't want to fight for one Nigeria anymore. Because you see what happened in Lekki? The kids there, when they are raising the Nigeria flag, is a useless flag. Sir, please, that is my own contribution. Please, I, I'm not, uh, sir, you are my leader. So this is my own opinion because... This governor that we kill all of us, so that we just kill all of us because they are there, they are, they are saying they are Hitler, they are the governor. So as our brother said, we can keep them. It's very easy. We will keep them. You see, uh, when answers, in the answers, all of them were confused because everybody we are in the street, even our own women, our men, they were in the street. All of them were confused. They were running around, sir. Please, we don't want to die for Nigeria flag because the, the zoo flag is too bad. It's a killer flag, sir. Our 
we know they are suffering. In Libya, they are selling there. Let us fight and know what we fight for, sir. Please, that is my own contribution. God bless you, sir. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. I have heard what you've said. And we shall, of course, take it on board. Thank you very, very much for that. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? I can hear you. Good morning to you. I am trying to get you on speakerphone if they will let me. If they will let me. Yes, please. Go ahead. Your name and where you're calling from. I am calling from Olimo State, Nigeria. Olimo State is your republic. Hold on. Olimo State is in Biafra land. Please go ahead. What is happening in Olu? Yeah. Tell us what is happening in Olu today. Yeah. Yeah. Olu, since yesterday around 5.40 p.m. in evening, mm -hmm. we, we, we have a very big challenge. It started in the morning. The, the, zoo, the zoo soldiers are patrolling from morning with their armored tankers, disturbing people's business, shooting guns everywhere without any notice. This is Nigerian people. army in Olu shooting at people, yeah. patrolling. No, yeah. all the Ophulefus will not hear yeah. or see it. All the Ophulefus all over the yeah. world they will not hear it. I yeah. want the British yeah. High Commissioner yeah. to understand this. I want the US Ambassador to understand yeah. this. What they're doing in Olu. Please go ahead. They are shooting, they are shooting guns right from the building materials in Olu, then drop one tanker there, one, uh, one uh, armored tanker there, in Banana Junction, then drop... What is happening to your line? Oh, dear me. They are shooting at people. Go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please try and come back. The caller on the line, can you hear me? I have a caller on the line. Can you hear me? The caller on the line. Can you hear me? There is this caller on signal. I don't know why they're not saying anything from the UK ending 2808. Can you hear me? No. They cannot hear me. The calls are plentiful. Very, very... Pl <laughs> it's just too much. The, the caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Your name, please turn down your system. If I hear my voice again, then I will cut you off. Your name and where you are, please. My name is Inamdi, and actually I'm calling from India. From India, please go ahead. Yeah, there was a day you were making a, a broadcast concerning about the, the, the Muslim people, but most people don't know about the Muslim people and the things they have already invented in this life. Sorry? Hello, sir. Yeah, what do you say? I said there was a day you were making a broadcast concerning about the Islam, their invention about the algebra and the ice cream. Yes, of course. Of course, Islam, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. I just want to also let some people to know that the invention of helicopter was first of the diagram was first of all found in Egypt. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yes, sir. And secondly, I just want to thank you so much for your good works and every other thing you'll be doing in this in our life to make sure that Biafra is restored fully as a supreme nation. And I also want to thank you so much for the life that God has already given to you. And we keep on giving you more life and more strength in whatever you are doing to make sure that the nation is being restored. Thank you very much. Thank All right, you, very thank much. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And um, uh, uh, something came up. Something came up very seriously um, that I need to attend to. And unfortunately, we are not able to continue with this broadcast this morning. Something came up that I must attend to very, very urgently. It is a very urgent situation and we must attend to it right now, immediately, please. You must bear with me. You must bear with me. Something came up. We are attending to it. It is a very, very critical situation that requires our attention. And we must respond to it immediately. I thank all of you that called, those of you that listened from wherever you are in the world, of course. Who knows, perhaps in the next, um, today is Friday. I suppose on Monday. Monday morning or evening, we'll be back again with our interactive session. I will let you know. I think precisely 
Um, I will broadcast again on Sunday evening. I will broadcast on Sunday evening and maybe we can have another interactive session on Monday. But from me, from here, at this precise hour, it is good morning. Fulani, uh, between that, uh, 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 what did he call the roundabout, uh, uh, Enugu to Aba or what? I have not been there before. He said they dropped the all of them around inside bush. Of course, yes. Yes, of course. He said they dropped the all of them inside bush. Yes. You know, so those people, and they are recruiting Fulanis in the north. In the north, they're recruiting them. In Abuja the is about to fall. They are entering into. A, you didn't hear read the headline. Abuja school shut down as truckload of bandits arrive in border town. God is going to destroy the zoo in such a way as I told them. If you have not gotten anywhere, you're in Indonesia. If you have not gotten your your Somalia passport, please. Uh, sorry, visa. You might as well go and apply now. Because as I told them, anyway. In fact, <laughs> the zoo is the Somalia is even better than Nigeria. Go and check the, the index now.